Hi guys, um, I just want to show you my quick setup, my first inventor installation that I did at my house. Okay, I think we're gonna start on the main DB just to show you the changes that I've done. Okay, so we've got new two neutral bars. Um, this one is feeding from the inverter and this one is feeding from ESCOM, right? So this is very important if you're going to be installing two earth leakages on your system right um if you if you mix the if the neutrals are not split you're going to have um a earth leakage tripping constantly okay so what i did on this circuit what i changed so i separated the the neutrals so that's the one for inverters i mentioned earlier and now i've moved everything here this is the one for escom so as you see we've got the stove and we've got the geese as well and lastly, we've got the plug, um, which is coming um, on this new circuit breaker that you see. I will show you the plug that I installed. Um, yeah, so far that's what I did. And you see at the top here what I did, I splitted my... So we had one long bar, um, which was linking from the geyser to all the lights and plugs. So I splitted it into two. Um, so now I've got it on the geyser stove and the new plug. And from here going upwards is the plugs and all the lights in the house, okay? So yeah, what we have, right? How the system starts. I've got these two cables coming under the earth leakage, okay? They're coming out, right? And they're coming all the way um, to, to our system here. So they feeding the, at, so they feed, feeding the SPD, the surge protecting devices, okay, and then from there on, they go onto the live and the neutral for the our changeover switch, okay. So from there, from the changeover switch, right, they also jump, right. Uh, if you can see, that's the L, and it also goes back to to our to our circuit breaker which is going to feed um, into charging our inverter so i've just switched off this so no grips will be going through the inverter now so this one is the inverter in um, and this one is the inverter out as well okay so and then what i did here right you see we've got the earth leakage right so from the inverter out um uh, like i did this intentionally so that you can see so they're coming from the inverter out and then they're going to to the earth leakage, okay? So this earth leakage is going to support all my non-essentials um, plugs and switches here, right? So as per standard, um, you are required to put um, earth leakage on the plugs that you have on the non-essentials um, load, okay? So it, it then comes from this, uh, from the earth leakage. So I've just bended this cable so that you can see exactly what's going on. Then it goes to input of our generator or our UPS, right, on the change of a switch. You see, they're going in there, and then we've got this output here um, coming from our change over switch. If you can see, we've got live and neutral, so it's coming down here on this pipe, and then it's going all the way here. You see, it's going all the way, okay, and then it's feeding. This is the the red, uh, the live cable, and the neutral cable is this one, which is feeding the non-essential flow, okay? So, I've kind of closed up um, under the inverter, but those who are familiar with the Lux Power, they know exactly wh what is what. So, we've got these two here that are empty, and we've got this one as well, which is empty. This is for the generator, and these two are gonna be connecting our um, solar uh, PV, okay? So one thing that I'd like to mention is that it's, 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 it's not a big deal. So um, the standards approve you bonding the earth, earth, uh, the earth wire or the ground wire rather. You see, I've got one ground coming from here. Okay. It's going all the way um, to our new DB. And then from there on, I've split a couple of them. So one is going to our SPD. Um, the one is going to that switch that I installed, that I mentioned. Okay, one is going to the to the battery, and then the other one is going to the inverter itself, okay, to ground the inverter. So what I also did, I've installed the two 
pilot lamps. Um, the green one symbolizes that the inverter is on, and then you've got the red one that symbolizes that the ESCOM is on, okay? So if I switch off the ESCOM here on the main circuit breaker, you can see that um, now ESCOM is um, it's off, okay? And then I'm just gonna switch back on the, um, the, the ESCOM. So I just wanna quickly show you how this works. So I'm gonna switch off the, um, the UPS. Um, as you can see now, it's, it, the, feed, the feed is darker and also the green lamp is off. So I'm just gonna switch it on um, again, okay? So you see now it's, it, it, it's brighter again, okay? So going down, uh, where I'm getting the, the UPS or the battery from, so I've got these five star um, um, battery disconnectors with two uh, fuses. Um, I think it's 160 amp fuses. Okay, and then we're using this Dynas, um 5.12 kilowatts. Um, that's the model number there. So we've connected our um, communication cable there. And then on the deep switch, if you see, we've got deep switch three um, that is on, okay? And everything is closed up because, you know, we've got kids who, who like playing in the garage. So, so they don't fiddle with this. So yeah, I'll be making another video where I'll have everything closed just to show you how everything looks neat and, and, and closed by, okay? Yeah, that's it. Um, if you've got any questions, you can just drop them on the comments. And then you can also just um, subscribe to the page, you know, for future solar installation and the smart home. So I've got another project coming soon. I've just recently purchased this and I'm busy with my um, home assistant smart home um, integration. Oh, thank you guys. Cheers, bye.